I've tried everything and nothing works. Oh, we hear that one quite a lot from parents who are just really at your wits end. You know, you feel like you've, you feel like you have tried everything and you feel like nothing really is working and you think, well, what else can there be? Maybe my child's just different to all the rest. Maybe I've got a unique one that just doesn't fit the usual rules and the usual ideas and we are just gonna have to put up with this. Well. Let me tell you, I thought that was me. And most people think that that's them. And actually, I'm sure there is a solution for you. I'm sure there is. You probably have tried lots of things and some may have been good, some may have not been, but I want you to consider two major questions today. And we're gonna talk a little bit about these. But the first one is, for how long did you try one thing? For how long did you try one thing? Because quite often what we do is we try something, we, we Google it or we read it in a book or we hear it from a friend and we go, well, that sounds good, right, I'll try that for my child. And you try it and you know, you may last a couple of days, a couple of nights, um, maybe only a couple of hours. And it doesn't seem to be working and you don't seem to be getting anywhere. So you go, well, that's not, gonna, that's not working and you give it up or you, you know, you try varying it slightly. But actually, really, how long have you stuck with one thing? Have you stuck with one thing for at least one week to 10 days, the same thing, even if you didn't feel like it was working? I'm guessing probably not. And if you have, that brings me on to question number two, which is how consistent were you? Maybe you did stick with that one thing. Maybe you did stick with it for a week or two. But were you consistent every step of the way? Or did you sometimes see it through and sometimes cave in and not intentionally, but actually end up giving a few mixed messages? The chances are one of those two things is not on point. So you either didn't try that one thing for long enough or you did, but you weren't consistent. Or maybe you didn't try it for long enough and you weren't consistent with it. And you know, we think when we're doing it, we think we are being consistent. And, and I'll talk to parents who will go, no, no, I am, I really am. But when we dig a little deeper, we find that, okay, actually, yeah, maybe not. Some parents really can see it and they're very self-aware and they know, yeah, I'm not really being consistent. But for others, it, we've got to really dig a bit deeper before it's, it's easy to see. And it's very hard to see that when you are the one that's in it. You are the parent that's trying to fix this problem. You are the sleep deprived parent that is going through it. It's not easy. And so it's clouded. And that's where having outside eyes looking in can be so, so helpful. Somebody who can shine a very truthful light on it and go, ah, but yeah, look. And, and you go, oh yeah, okay, I see what I'm doing wrong now. <laughs> um, so there's two really, really important questions. I'm gonna repeat them for you. One is, for how long did you try one thing? and also how consistent were you with it. Now, there's a whole load of things you may try, and maybe you, you know, when parents say, I've tried everything and nothing works, I mean, that's very extreme language. <laughs> I would like to bet that actually, one of those things you tried was probably the perfect thing for your child, because not everything suits every child. And it's, it's really difficult to pin down exactly what's the right thing and the most ideal thing for that child in that scenario at that particular time in their developmental stage. The chances are you have touched on the ideal thing, but often it's a case of, well, yes, that's the thing to do, but we also need to tweak this bit and the timing here needs to change. And then with this bit over here, so it's like a lot of pieces of a puzzle and an approach. And we need to bring all of those into alignment to then see a result. So it's not that there's approach A, B, C or D, you try them all, nothing works, oh well, you're not helpable. It's actually a case of, well, let's find the right approach for you, let's stick with it, let's be consistent with it, and let's also adjust this timing here, fix this bit here, tweak that thing there, and then we've got a result. So don't give up, don't write it off as, ah, oh, we can't be helped you can be helped and don't just think oh, i've tried everything nothing works there is something there is the right thing you could be so close it could just be the smallest piece that you were missing of this puzzle and sometimes you have all the pieces they're just in the wrong order and we need to shuffle them and get them back into the right order and that's all it takes but that's what we do here at the sleep nanny we 
unpick, investigate and problem solve so that you can get the sleep that you need. So if this has helped you or you're intrigued and you want to learn more, become a Sleep Nanny Insider. It's completely free. You can sign up, follow the link. We'll send you free content every week. You'll get downloads, printables, cheat sheets, all these things that we've created, tools to help you. And it's free. And of course, if you wanted to talk to one of our consultants, we can arrange that for you as well. But you are helpable. You can get this on track. And we're here for you.